Hey guys, Boney McBonerton here, and welcome back to Dead by Daylight. Now I know what you're thinking, hey, you mentioned that the new chapter was coming out today, yet this looks normal. What's going on? So the thing is, uploading a video on the exact same day as recording is pretty difficult. Unless the video is like, two minutes long or something. But unfortunately, for my extremely high quality HD videos, they take a literally forever to upload. And it doesn't help that my Netgear wireless adapter literally burnt itself out Saturday night. That that was really cool, by the way. So, to give the six people who watch this channel their fill for DBD today when they were expecting this chapter, I'm going to actually do something interesting. Something that I haven't seen a lot of other big DBD YouTubers actually cover. And that would be the tutorials. So... There are actually like two different tutorial sections you can do. You can do the survivor tutorial, the killer tutorial, and you can actually go into custom games as survivor and the killer. The problem with these custom games though, is that they're all set for one map, the same four base survivors, and the base killer, the trapper. So if you wanna do a match where like, oh hey, I wanna play as Pyramid Head against these four on this specific map, you won't be able to do that. Yet. So, without ado, let's just get into the tutorials. Now, something I should mention though, as the entity commands, Dead by Daylight is an asymmetrical game that is played in trials between four survivors and one killer. As a survivor, you must hide from the killer while repairing generators to power exit gates. This tutorial will teach you the basics needed to escape alive. So yeah, this is actually a unique map that they have in the game for the tutorial only. Scratch marks. When you run, you leave scratch marks that are only visible to the killer. Walk or crouch to prevent scratch marks. That's what you think. You've never heard of the perks. Vaulting. Vaults can be performed faster while running, but this can alert the killer to your location. Whoa. I think they actually kind of updated this from the last time I looked at it. We have to go over now and repair the generator. Tap the skill check button when the pointer passes over the success zone. Hitting the solid part adds bonus progress, but failing a skill check removes some progress and notifies the killer of your location. This... I can't move, but this lamp kind of looks like it's from, um... Dead Dog or something. Oh, this is... It's running on old DBD. Okay. So I actually have to hold it down. That is weird. Ooh, almost. Vault through the window. No, I want to look around more. I want to see if there's, like, secrets in this map or something. Ugh. Pair the final generator. First, I want to look around more. Like, I, I never get to really, like, take a look around this place, so I really want to just stop and look about and see what, like... What could be within this level? Maybe this would be a great level for those guys that do like out of bounds explorations for video games. I can't remember that. Oh god! You've been caught in the trapper's bear trap. Each killer has a unique power that you must learn to avoid. Who the fuck is. Oh shit! Struggle! Oh no! When the killer is near, your heart beats louder. Hi. Ow! Dick. You can try to wiggle free from the killer when you are picked up by pressing the wiggle prompt when it appears. So yeah, they've massively updated this. We're gonna wiggle! Let's see. Pull down pallets and slow the killer when they're chasing you. 
Dropping a pallet on a killer will stun them and free any survivor they're holding. Thank you, Meg. I was gonna go after Meg. Called it. Yeah, fuck you, Meg. So yeah, this is a new prop I've never seen before. There's actually a lot of stuff here I have not seen before. At least I don't think I... Okay, the entity has just straight up locked the doorway. But this is actually interesting because there's so much here that I've just never seen. Like these oil cans. Or whatever this is. Or these cages. It's amazing that there's so much unused stuff in this tutorial section. Space to pull down a pallet. Survivors can vault over pallets that have been pushed down. Killers can destroy the pallets. Teamwork is a central part of Dead by Daylight. You'll need to unhook survivors when they have been hooked by the killer. Yeah, put her ass up there! Yeah! Save Meg from the hook. Where? Hold on. Where'd he go? He's hiding. Did you own this bush, dude? Like, I've never seen this little tree. I don't think I have either. It's actually crazy how much shit there is in this tutorial. No, oh, fuck you, Meg. I want you to die so I can get the hatch. You also gotta admire the fact that the timer's actually paused. And she goes running off. And she's hiding in a locker. Lockers are a good place to hide, but be careful you aren't seen going in. Okay, I'll hide. Can I do the gen first? Can I do a little touching watching? No, I cannot. Okay. That's pretty smart of the devs. Oh shit. He's back from the bush. Oh god, he found me. Of course he's gonna find me. Dude. Dude. Dude, it's even using the old wiggle thing. That's so... This feels so unnatural. I've gotten so used to the old wiggle. You can try to escape the hook on your own, but the chances of success is extremely low and failed attempts bring you closer to being sacrificed. Outside of the tutorial, you should only attempt to unhook yourself when there's no other chance of surviving. No, I can do it, Meg. I can do it, Meg! I can't do it. Thanks. Healing. When injured, you should, will make more noise and leave a trail of blood behind you. Other survivors can heal you just as you can heal injured survivors yourself. So come here, Meg. Well, I'm gonna enjoy this considering this is the only time a woman will ever let me touch her. All right, now touch me, Meg. Ugh. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay, we're fine. Teamwork. Teamwork is crucial to your success in a trial. Working with others to speed up generator repairs and healing wounded teammates. Yeah, you and I, let's repair this together. Finish it! Finish it! Once enough generators are repaired, you can open the exit gate and escape the trial. Yep, that's an exit gate. Now, considering how much, like, Dead by Daylight I've played, this almost feels like I'm going back to kindergarten. It's exciting, but I oh, I already know what I'm doing. What? Where the burb? It's hard to see that downed pallet off in the distance. Because my killer main brain is seeing that pallet and thinking, Oh, I gotta run over there and break that for points. Then gate flats is triggered once the gate is opened by a survivor or the hatch is closed by the killer. Escape the trial before time is up, otherwise you will be killed by the entity. Oh, do I have to... Okay, Meg already 
The hatch. The last survivor in the match can only escape by jumping into the hatch. The hatch opens when only one survivor's left. Oh, can also. I thought they said can only. I was like, no, I can also go out that way. Yeet. Congratulations, you have completed the survivor tor tutorial. Now I can't wait to see how the killer tutorial plays out since they've apparently updated this without telling anyone. As the killer, you must hunt down and sacrifice all the survivors. This tutorial will help you will help teach you the basics needed to appease the entity. Go to the generator, but no, I want to as the killer, you will be able to see the auras of generators on the map. You must prevent survivors from repairing the generators. Yes, I know. When a survivor fails skill check, a visual notification appears to show where the sound came from. Oh, there's... This is a building. No one's here. You can damage partially repaired generators to regress their progress. When a survivor runs, they leave scratch marks that you can use to track them. Meg. Wait a minute. 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 Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. So when I selected the tutorial as the trap, select. Ugh. When I selected the tutorial. The killer I had on was Sadako, and these are the charms that I use for Sadako and for her hooks. Like, see, there there she is, right there. Dude, the water is that- oh my god, look at the detail. That, that's some dirty looking water, but dude, that that's kind of an interesting bug. I think I might be the first person to discover that. Survivors will try to escape by using vaults. You can also move through vault points, but more slowly than survivors do. Oh, Meg! Meg, I'm coming to look around and then beat your ass. Ooh, I'm gonna bait it. Ooh, I'm gonna bait it. I'm gonna bait it. I'm gonna bait you, Meg. I'm gonna bait you. Oh, God! Survivors can knock over pallets to slow you down. As a trapper, you can place bear traps to catch survivors. Each killer has their own power to learn and master, which is really cool. Said traps. Okay, so it's gonna... I can't move. The entity itself is looking at me and going, put down the trap, fuck boy. Find a survivor. Can I pick this back up? <clears throat> I can get caught in it, but I can't pick it up. Which which is weird, right? Hello, Shilly. Attacking. Tapping the attack button executes a quick attack. Pressing and holding executes a lunging attack. That quickly moves you forward as you strike, but slows you down after the attack. Now, normally, you're like, I guess you could do that, but it's always better to lunge. When survivors are injured, they leave a blood trail and make more noise. It takes one hit to knock down an injured survivor. Come back here, Meg. I'm gonna tickle you in a bad place. And here's the lunge! Knockdown survivors should be picked up, carried, and sacrificed on a hook to the entity. Move quickly as carried survivors can wiggle to break free. Alright, come here, Meg. Hey, yo! The, I can see the aura of the other gen there. Sorry, the other hook there. Okay, fine. Don't wiggle, Meg. That's not my problem. Hook survivor slowly progresses towards being sacrificed to the entity, but they can be rescued by other survivors. A survivor will immediately be sacrificed after being hooked three times. Oh, and she got insta-killed. Oh, That's weird. When there's one survivor left, the hatch will open somewhere on the map. Find and close it before the survivor can escape. Jake? Jake's been in this game too? Holy shit! Jakey Poo, where are you? The game collapse is triggered once the exit. Once the gate is opened by a survivor, the hatch is closed by the killer. Find and kill the last survivor before they can escape. 
If time runs out, all remaining survivors are killed by the entity. Oh, hey, Jake. Oh, no, 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 Jake, no! Oh, good, another hook's right there. Hey, Jake, um... Come here, boy. A lot of killers for... You know what? You know, oh, fuck you, Jake. Fuck you. Oh, well, fuck you. Go die on the floor. Like the rodent you are. He's just gonna lay there and take it like a good boy. Yo, while you're... While we're waiting for endgame collapse, I'm gonna look around a little. I'm gonna look around at all this. Like, seriously, it's actually, like, startling how much work they've put into this. Like, I think that's another exit gate right over there somewhere or something. Like, seriously, this is... Okay, cool. Way to be a dick, entity. Yeah, you know what? Fine. I, I will reset the trap. Even though I'm getting no points for it. So, Jake. Seen any uh, good movies lately? Fucked any bitches? Nah, of course you didn't. You're a fucking Jake, look at you. Oh, shit. Okay, for a second there, I thought he had, like, a charm on or something. Say goodbye, Jake, you silly bitch. Become one with the dog chow. Oh, I can go back here, okay. Hey, Jake, look what I can do. Jake? I should also note that Jake's not bleeding out either. Bro! The timer paused! We have to kill Jake by hooking him. Okay. Way to throw a fucking fit entity. God damn. Goodbye, son. What if he escaped? I think that would have been a cool way to show off, like, the end game collapse. If you just, like, had him 4% off the hook, and, like, he didn't have enough time, and then he just got killed. Congratulations, you've completed the killer tutorial. Now that we've done that, let's do these! So... It is what it is. You basically go in as the trapper with all the basic cosmetics. It spawns in four survivor bots. And it takes place on the Ironworks of Misery, and you gotta take everyone out. Like, they can actually escape here. But what I find interesting about this is that, like, the devs have talked a lot about, like, creating custom matches where you can play by yourself. And, like, if a survivor DCs or a killer DCs, a bot will take over for them. But this is going to sound weird. I think matches where you can just play by yourself and set whatever killers and survivors and map you want might be bad for the game's health. Hear me out. Like, if you're a killer main and you're thinking to yourself, hmm, I could go into this match where I could kill these bots or I could go against these super toxic people who will try to make my life a living hell in this game. Which would you pick? Like, seriously, think about it for a minute. Okay, so they're all the way over there. God, this reminds me of my Adept Trapper video back when I had a shitty mic. And it was at Hawkins. Yeah, that's how old the video was. Ooh, no one here. Okay, since these are bots, like, normal stuff ain't gonna cut it for them, so... You know, I'm gonna hide this trap in this fern. Let's see if we can do... Oh my god, they are fucking up. Oh, I saw... I think I saw... I thought I saw Dwight. I'm gonna put a trap right here. So, trap all the way up on this hill I gotta get. 
Every time. Every time. Oh! Hey, what? Oh! Um... Okay, this is not supposed to happen. Okay, we lagged out. Good to see that even the tutorial is running on a server. That's good. Like, when I played it earlier, like, a few months ago, it wasn't this bad. Are you over here, silly? Oh, I see scratch marks. Oh, it's Meg. Oh, Megan. Are you looping? Are you looping? Wow, these bots have gotten good. You can actually loop. But for how long, Megan? How long? Oh, I feel like that should not have connected. Hey, since we're doing a tutorial and shit, do you guys want to throw back to early, like, early Dead by Daylight? Okay. Like. Oh, God, I remember how annoying that used to be. Okay, there's a. You guys better not be- I know they're bots, but you better not be teabagging or I'm gonna cry. Dwight. Dwight, come here, Dwight. I was gonna say, no fucking- oh. I was gonna be so shocked if Jake had fallen for that. Ah. Ah. Like, if Jake had just run straight into the trap there. But no, no. Luckily, the devs got smart about it and- Made multi-directional unhooking. <laughs> I've still got hope for this trap here. I'm hope- Wait, they got a gen done. When did y'all get a gen done? Oh, it's not- Okay, no, it's not over there. But while I'm at it... No, if these were real people and not bots, they would have been taking this stuff down. Oh, hey, Claudette. You're my obsession, which is weird because none of us are running obsession perks, and that makes no sense. That's weird, right? Not just me? Oh, Claudette. God, I hate the TNL wall so much. Like, you don't even know, dude. I've lost so many games just because some idiot was perfectly predicting me at those. What are you guys doing? Stop it. Oh, can I make a risky play here? Can I make a risky play? Okay, you guys better run, because I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm gonna smack you in the butts. It's gonna be real messy and it's gonna hurt. Did you? You did not. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Yeah. I will admit I am a little out of my element here because with bots, it's pretty different. Normally in Dead by Daylight, you're trying to struggle with thinking, how is an idiot going to try to play this? Are they going to... Okay, you're going to win for that trap under the pallet. Hi, don't mind. If one of you could get in that random trap, no fucking way. No fucking way. No fucking way. No fucking way you fell for that, dude. Hey, yo, you know, while we're at it... While we're at it, can I just... Put this one here. And I'll put the other one at the window.
You know, I honestly do like low-key miss the days of Dead by Daylight. When people didn't take it so seriously. When there weren't like killers like trying their dick off for 4K. Or the toxic meta squad ruining the game for everyone. Just like the days where, oh, the killers were actually scary. And, yeah. I will admit though, Dead by Daylight has definitely come a long way. Jake, did you get that? Jake, you found that trap, didn't you? I see your scratch marks, Jake. I'm gonna slam this whole trap inside of your rectum. How the f- Wow. Wow, okay. I will give that to you, Jake. I will give that to you. I'm coming, children. Oh, m Dwight. Dwight, I'm coming, Dwight. I'm gonna fit this whole cleaver in your butt, Dwight. Dwighty-poo. What are you gonna do when Trapper comes for you? Ah! Uh, it feels so good knowing that none of these guys are running dead hard. Just, if you could, if we could pan the camera a little lower, you would see that my pants are just drenched in gamer goo. Like, just the whole front of my pants. Looks like a kinder egg exploded under there. Okay, you went this way. Did you? Did you? Wait a minute. Is that... Oh, hello! You know what? I'm gonna be a dick and slug for the 4K. Even though they're bots. Jake. Jake, where are you, man? You're making me sad, Jake. Oh, Jake. Oh, Jake, you 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 were looking at me, but you should have been looking at the ground. You tool. Are you dead on a hook, Jake? Yeah. I think you might be. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna be even more cocky and throw your ass in the basement yeah. where you belong. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Now we gotta go get Megan. Oh, hey, Meg. Good job waiting under a pallet. Too bad no one's here and you don't have the perk power struggle. You fool. Get in. Yes. This is my woods, bitch. Now, unfortunately, you don't actually get any of the points for killing the survivors. Besides, I'm already maxed out from earlier. Amogus. Oh shit, what time is it? It's 9.52, okay. You know what? Before we go, I'm gonna do survive with bots. Meaning I'm gonna be one of the survivors. Which one? Probably Dwight. I just hope my game doesn't do what it did last time and... Oh my god, you hear that voice crack? I just hope my game doesn't do what it did last time. Where like... Everything's lagging out and suddenly I'm downed and on my way to the basement. The Ironworks of Misery. The Macmillan Estate. Sorry, I just- that's just how I imagine Dwight sounds. Do 
Do you fucking mind, Meg? He knows. He doesn't know. He does not know. It's not great, but it's something. It appears that the basement also always spawns here. So, oh, there's a gem there. Maybe we can find some good loot. Nobody better fucking touch my med kit, I swear to God. Okay, that's a little better. Not great, but it's something. Now to sit on a gen for 10 minutes. Hey, Meg, what's up? Oh god, he finally got- yeah, you go get her. Bruh! I thought you- fine, I'll go get her. You clown ass motherfucker. Back the fuck off, Jake. Go, go, go bait him away or something, I don't Jake, I swear to God, I'm not gonna... <laughs> get Jake, get Jake, get Jake. Yeah! Get him! Fuck his wife! No, no, not my wife! <laughs> Ooh! Gonna... Okay, Jake, you better go get her. Because I'm juicing this killer. I hope you guys are ready. This is... Okay, no. He, he's had enough. He's had enough. No, no, no. Lo, lo. You fucking dipshit! You're the, the most random trap like two feet from you and you fucking waddled into it like a fat hamster waddles into a mouse trap. Now I'm gonna have to body block and take a hit for you. Cause you're incompetent. Oh, that was close. Yo, take Claudette, dude. Take Claudette, she's... Yeah, have Cla have her fucking ass as a snack, dude. <laughs> this guy's so Ooh, where could they be? Ooh, where could they be? Where could they be, Trapper? Don't touch her. Bruh. Oh god, he was deciding! Oh, I'm yummy! Come get me, Mr. Trapper! A bar. You know, it feels good that I can be toxic to a killer and not feel bad about it. Okay, but if you can't- Oh, I might have goofed. I may have goofed. I may have potentially goofed. I didn't goof. This guy's a dumbass. Dumbass with a capital D. Ooh. Maybe that's what I can do. Since this will probably be the only killer in history I'll get to run around. Who took my fucking medkit? Yeah, maybe that's what this game will be. Maybe it'll just be us harassing the trapper. Yeah, get her! No! Oh, yummy, yummy. 
But guys, I'm just like a Cheeto guy. Now watch me loop. You suck, boo. Boo, you suck. Oh, oh, he's getting closer. He's getting closer. He gave up. I'm, okay, he's like deciding who to go after. <laughs> Tag team! Good, we got him on the ropes. So, an issue I've noticed with this bot is that he kind of seems to struggle with anticipating low, my god. Bruh. Or, uh, that was entirely on you. Double back! Oh god, okay. You know what? We'll, we'll both take that. Will you follow me up the stairs, mister? Oh shit, he's following me up the stairs. Oh shit, this man ain't playing no more. He's hungry for the booty. <laughs> oh shit. My alarm! Now I gotta play this one-handed. Oh my god, what have I done? Oh my god, what have I done? That's why you don't play Dead by Daylight one-handed. Oh shit, I gotta use the shitty wiggle system. Oh god, he's taking me to the basement! You're- why are you moving so slow? Don't, 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 dude. Give me a minute. Oh, fuck you. Bruh. I know I'm mad right now. Not only because I like embarrassed myself and got caught by the bot killer, but I know for a fact one of them's gonna step on that trap. I know that the person, that Claudette is going to butt body slam her entire head into that trap. Uh, what did I say? Oh God, he's coming back. Claudette! No, Meg! Please! Okay. This bitch is using my med kit right in front of me. Bruh, you're not even gonna heal me? Dick! You know what? Fu fuck this Meg. My new mission in life is to make sure this Meg does not get out alive. <laughs> Go get him, Meg. Don't open the gate, though. Okay, no, it's Jake that opened the gate. God damn it. Meg, I hate you so fucking much. I'm going to body block you so you can die, you fucking clown. Meg. Okay, Jake just left. Jake- You know, fuck you, my unhook! No, we're not going that way. That's what he wants. That's what he's expecting. Okay, he's been expecting us. Oh. oh god, he's after me! I cannot get caught here again!
Guys! Guys! I don't want to lose to the bot killer! Give a little teabag on the- Oh, you missed, you dumbass. Oh! Can we spectate, or... We cannot. After we leave, the match just straight up ends. So yeah, that was the DBD tutorial. For completing all that, you get the special bloody to token charm. So before you do go on with this whole tutorial, let me um, actually show something. There's, I don't know if they patched it out, but there's a bug with the tutorials that if you have killers and special cosmetics and you decide to go out and do the tutorials, all of their cosmetics should, oh. Wow, they actually fixed that. Holy shit. Wow. Okay, but did they also fix it for the survivors? That I have to check. This is taking a concerning amount of... Bruh. 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 Here I was praising the game going like... Oh wow, it's so cool, it looks like they fixed the bug! But then another one just comes up out of nowhere to undo everything I've just said. Okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah! They actually fixed that bug. Alright, well, good job, devs! I'm proud of you! Well, this has been Boney McBonerton here. Have a good day now, and goodbye.